Tonsillitis and Tonsillectomy When a person opens his mouth, there are a lot of things you can see. One of the most important organs that help fight off infection are among them, also known as tonsils. Tonsils are often overlooked when you open your mouth. This is because they are often small and hidden between the two arches. These tonsils are known as palatine tonsils due to their location near the palate or the roof of the mouth. How Tonsils Fight Off Infection The tonsils act like a sentry point for the throat, picking up virus and bacteria particles which are breathed in or swallowed and relaying these to the immune system. To help with this role, the surfaces of the tonsils are pitted with a number of little recesses, also called tonsil crypts. These increase the surface area of the tonsils, relaying more viruses and bacteria to the immune system. How Tonsils Get Infected Tonsils can also become clogged with bacteria and food particles which can lead to problems. When this happens, the tonsil itself becomes infected and starts to get swollen due to inflammation because of infection leading to condition known as tonsillitis or inflammation of the tonsils. Because the tonsils are always trapping bacteria, they can become infected quite commonly, especially in children, leading to condition known as recurrent acute tonsillitis. Signs and Symptoms of Tonsillitis The main symptom of tonsillitis is sore throat, but since the throat and ears share the same nerves, the pain is often felt in the ears too. This process is known as referred pain. The pain is usually worse when swallowing, also known as odinophagia. Very young children may not complain of a sore throat, but may simply refuse to eat. In addition, you may also have a cough, fever due to infection, headache, feel sick, feel tired, and swollen and tender glands, lymph nodes on the sides of the neck as well as bad breath. How Tonsillitis is Diagnosed Diagnosis is based on a physical examination of your throat. Your doctor may also take a throat culture by gently swabbing the back of your throat. The culture will be sent to a laboratory to identify the bacteria causing the throat infection. Treatment for Tonsillitis A mild case of tonsillitis does not necessarily require treatment especially if a virus, such as a cold, causes it. Good rest and remaining well hydrated are treatment of choice in such cases. Painkiller medicines can be added to relieve the throat pain. Treatments for more severe cases of tonsillitis may include antibiotics or a tonsillectomy. Antibiotics will be prescribed to fight a bacterial infection. It's important you complete the full course of antibiotics. Tonsillectomy is the surgical removal of tonsils to permanently end the problem of tonsillitis. Criteria for tonsillectomy At least 7 episodes in the previous year, at least 5 episodes in each of the previous 2 years, or at least 3 episodes in each of the previous 3 years. How tonsillectomy is done Dissection and snare method There are multiple methods to do tonsillectomy. One of the most commonly used is dissection and snare method. Steps of dissection and snare method 1. Patient is placed in rose position 2. Boyle Davis mouth gag is introduced and opened. It is held in place by draffins, bipods, or a string over a pulley. 3. Tonsil is grasped with forceps and pulled medially. Incision made in the mucous membrane. 4. A blunt curved scissors may be used to dissect the tonsil from the peritonsillar tissue and separate its upper pole. 5. Tonsil is held at its upper pole and traction applied downwards and medially or scissors until lower pole is reached. 6. Wire loop of tonsillar snare is threaded over the tonsil onto its pedicle, tightened. 7. Pedicle is cut and the tonsil removed. 8. A gauze sponge is placed in the fossa and pressure applied for a few minutes. 9. Bleeding points are tied with silk. Procedure is repeated on the other side.